So I have some new hair from perfectlocks.com and I received three bundles of virgin curly hair and my first silk base closure. Now, if you don't know what a silk base closure is, it's quite different from a lace closure where you can see the knots in the lace from the ventilating. In this case, it has a silk backing that uh, simulates actual scalp or your scalp color where you can't see the knots and it makes your uh, parting in your custom wigs look a lot more natural. Now in this video, I will be sewing the entire wig using my sewing machine. So I do recommend a specific cap to do this. And it is the U-Part Wig Caps by Too Fit. You should be able to find these in your local beauty supply store or uh, any beauty supply store online. I'll make sure I have some links in the description box where you can find them. Now these caps are very similar to other wig weaving caps except for it has a U-shaped opening at the top crown of the cap. So this allows you to either have your hair out or you can attach a closure like I will be doing in this video. So I'm going to start by cutting the string and the elastic adjusters in the back off the cap because I don't care for them. <laughs> Then I'm going to start sewing the tracks onto the cap, making sure the tracks lay flat to the cap. Um, I'm using a zigzag stitch to sew the tracks onto this cap as well. And I also had to cut the tracks so the edges are flat and it's easier to sew than to try to do a fold over method. Always backstitch at the beginning and the end of your tracks for security. The goal here is to try and lay the tracks about a finger or two apart. Now here you can see what it looks like. I used a lighter thread so that it was clear for you to see the results. So now I'm going to finish the rest of the wig with black thread. Continue to sew until you get the lacy or until you get to the lacy part of the cap. Then you can attach the closure. Now from this point on, I used my canvas wig head and I hand sewn the closure and the rest of the tracks onto the cap. So here's what the final results are with the closure installed and it has an opening so you don't have to cut anything. Before installing, I like to add my own elastic band to the ear tabs for my own custom fit. So this is just a quick install just to see how it fits and would look on and I'm going to use the Design Essentials Edge Tamer for my natural hair. This stuff smells so good and it lays my edges down nicely.
So I'm installing it as a middle part, even though I can do it as a side part. And I noticed that the silk base closure doesn't really match my scalp color. So I'm just going to lay it close to my hairline for now. I love using the Moroccan Oils Curl Defining Cream on curly or wavy hair. All I do is just apply to define the texture. I did not have to layer, cut, or do any styling to this hair. Just let it air dry from the product. So my edges look pretty good, but not satisfied with the color of the silk base closure. I will upload a redo on fixing this later. You got any tips? Let me know in the comment below. Otherwise, this is it. If you want to know more about how I make wigs, check out these playlists and I'll see you in the next video.